Sports USA, the greatest entertainers in America, as requested by you, the fighting men of the United States Armed Forces throughout the world. Command performance presented this week and every week till it's over, over there. Well, gang, this is Ken Carpenter. I'll let you in on a little secret. Command performance is on the air. All over the earth, your entertainment hangout is officially open. And the kitchen table set for you guys to sit down and take potluck with your favorite stars. The stars you asked for in your letters to Command Performance Special Service Division, Los Angeles, USA. Right here, I usually announce the master of ceremonies, but with so many big stars here tonight, any star who happens to get close to a mic can do the honors. And here, with a musical tribute to the great George Gershwin, the girl who's very close to the hearts of the AEF, your one and only, Judy Garland.
Thank you, and hi, fellas. This is Judy. Before I get lost in the mob here tonight, I'd like to send love to Johnny, Frankie, and Jaime, and the men in white at 975, to CSM Bennett and the British Signal Gang in Persia and Iraq, to Benny Papa Pietro in the South Pacific, F.W. Moore at Lower Hutt, New Zealand, and Corporal Jimmy Ritchie of Venice, California, now somewhere in India. Greetings to Howard Bambi and the 5th CB. And for every Yank and our brothers in the United States, here's something your sweethearts would like to give you in person. <laughs> One thing about a radio kiss is no lipstick. It's no fun, either. <laughs> now I'd like to meet, like you to meet a couple of old sourdoughs who mush in by command of the whole AEF, Kay Kaiser and Bing Crosby. <laughs> Thank you, Judy, and hello, fellas. Hi, Fess. Well, well, well. Hand me four boys and call me a pre-Pearl Harbor father. <laughs> yeah, slap me down if it ain't the old groaner. How you feeling, Bing? Great, great. How you feeling, Kate? Oh, just like I looked at it, just like I look. How unfortunate. <laughs> You gotta watch this Crosby. He's very subtle. But tell me, Bing, what's new with you over at Paramount? What's this? You don't mean that you want to talk about my pictures? Yeah. I'm keeping quiet about mine. <laughs> oh, you're just being modest, Fess. Rumor has it that in your current flicker, you reach the very pinnacle of success. You're always lonely down there, ain't it? <laughs> but I will say, Bing, confidentially, of course, yeah. uh, I'm being groomed for a new role in the movies. Interesting, interesting. What? <laughs> What's that? Stand in for Ishka Bibble. <laughs> I hate to bring this up, but uh, what are you going to use for hair? <laughs> How can he stand there and make a remark like that? Whatever <laughs> we we'll do, Fetch, we'll call it a draw. How's about knocking the, out of tune for the boys? I see you got your whole mob here with Georgia, you got Julie, Max. Jack, Diane, Harry, Sassy, well, Sully. Well, well, well sure. Well, sure, but... Uh, well, sure, but I need a smooth way to get us on. Well, you just read this letter here from Private First Class George Hutchins. It's APO 954. That'll get you on. But where are you going, Bing? i got to run down to Sontag's and get my youngest boy a racing form. I'll see you. <laughs> oh. Well, here's the letter. Dear Command Performance, I'm from good old Missouri, and being away from the farm on which I spent most of my life, I naturally miss the sounds of the barnyard. Nothing would please me more than to hear the bray of a, of, of a jackass. Hey, Crosby. <laughs> hey, Ben, you can't do this to me. But okay there, Private Hutchins. Here's the bray of a Missouri jackass. Ah, 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 ah. Honest, fellas, honest, that didn't come out of me. <laughs> that was our good friend Pinto Kovig, and thank